first of all i want to log in with oracle applications and while using your user what is your user demo 90 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 here we have a system administrator responsibility we can choose that and initially i want to go to enter into the executable okay so here what is the navigation concurrent program executable and this is our executable so yesterday we done our executable what is our executable name jpp9 user resp executable automatically it will come right so in this one already i told you this is the executable name this is the unique name it is a short name it is maintain the unique data in our database and so here now you tell me where this field information is stored which table fnd tr and this short name fndx very good so and applications so that information we are going to find it now so this respected application information is going to store in different table so the table is fnd applications fnd application here observe this one in this application we are find out the short name we are find out the short name where we are find out the short name in our uh, server machine whenever we can go to connect with our server machine respected top it is showing the respected <coughs> short names only but now i want to see the full name of or full form of our short names right here observe this one in front end it is showing full form but in back end it is showing short name but so here we have a one more table that is called fnd application tl so here we find out the application name then where application name like so this is the our application so here we have a application id okay observe this one whenever we are define the executable define the executable which table is captured fnd executables right so here fnd executable okay then here we are find out the uh, short name right if you go for tl we find out the a uh, respected application name means executable name right then here now observe this one in this particular point of executable tl we are find out the application id also then now we can check it where no 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 first of all we are going to retrieve our executable name user executable name like what is that jpp9 so this is our executable name and this is the application id observe this one from back end it is showing application id but front end it is showing application name so how we can go to find out we can go to link this application id to this applications table application id and we can easily find out the application name now you should develop a component okay you should come you should develop a component which is retrieve the application name a study component don't have any application name just user and executable now i am going to assign few columns to you and you can go to retrieve that the first one is application name so here we find out a new table applications tl table right and also here next we have a 
execution method yesterday we didn't display any execution method in our report right now i want to see what is the execution method in our report okay so where we can go to find out here front end it is clearly show us it is a execution method is oracle reports now we can go to search from the back end whether it is showing oracle reports are different thing but what are the base tables for executables fnd executables tl and fnd executables we have only two tables we have only two tables in this two tables only we can go to find out what is the method of our executable right so here observe this one fnd executables tl we don't have any options to find out the method okay so here we have few columns we can easily understand no one column does not display any oracle reports field or information right and also we cannot stop right because of it is only one table we have one more table is also there what is that executable, executable. fnd executables again we execute that here one second where executable id so this executable id will be find out from here that executable id will be passed as a class in our query right then here observe this one first one is application id executable id executable name and who columns next what is that execution method code then apart from that we don't have any data in another column so then which is the column we are going to finalize this is the column we are going to finalize execution method code but front end it issue us oracle reports back end it issue us code so how we are going to convert this a particular character into oracle reports i want to display this particular character back end it is showing p whenever we are getting the p this will be converted into as a oracle reports how we can do that how can you convert the character to <coughs> respected information decode we have a decode option right whenever the method is p it is display the oracle reports while using decode we can go to do that while using decode we can go to do that all of you clear or not have you possible to use or not definitely we have only one option we have only one choice we have only one way which is used to display the code to our respected user format suppose you develop a report you display as a p have you possible to understand by the user the user does not understand what is the stands for p if you display the oracle reports then the user is okay then the user easily understand it is the oracle reports method all of you clear or not okay then that is the reason you can go to convert this p as a execution method p as a oracle reports exact picture of our front end how the front end is show us first character and <coughs> remaining characters how it is going to display how much space is there how it is going to display in the front end the same the same picture will be going to display as a report clear all of you that next execution file name next execution file name again we can go to search into the two tables then here observe this one execution file name directly is there directly we can <coughs> find out <coughs> execution file name but here this execution file name it is showing the respected jpp9 user report okay but my requirement is i want to see the extension of that file i want to see the extension of file why i want to see that the report builder is supported several sources right so i want to see the respected whether it is a jsp or whether it is a text or whether it is a xml something some formats is there right but that format that extension also i want to see i want to see the extension of this file so how we can go to add that extension we can go to use concatenation we can go to use concatenate that particular column we can use the concatenate and add the dot rdf 
dot rdf manually you can add it automatically it will come okay then now you are going to add that few columns in your existing component and you develop a report so once you should completed that one then we'll be go for the next level that is a second step all of you clear these are the basics i want to explain some basics what are the very important where we want to concentrate on this particular component in the last class we understand how to use the uh, nvl function and how to use the conversion functions in our query so then today you are implemented the decode functionality decode functionality and the concatenate functionality all of you clear so what are the columns you want to add it right one is application name same yesterday component is there na the same component you can add it application name and execution method execution file name you can add this three columns in line session three columns in line session clear so this is the component you should develop now once you completed that one any person you can intimate it me once you are completed all people's component is completed then we'll start the next session okay so today we want to do so many components okay so my work is only half an hour your work is more than one hour okay